I, uh, you know, it's always, I'm always really happy. We have, we have a musical guest on tonight who's also going to be my first guest. Michael Bublé is going to be out here in just a little while. And uh, Rose Matafeo from Starstruck on HBO is going to be out here tonight, too. But, but first, uh, Mr. Mr. Bublé is going to be out here. And what I love, I always love it when the guest is here and they sing with y'all in the band. You're going to be out here playing yes. a song tonight. Uh, what, what are you guys going to be doing? Do you, do you know what songs you're going to be doing? Yes, we're going to do uh, Crazy for the Web yep. and Make You Feel My Love for the Hollows. I'm very excited. That sounds very sexy. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's exciting. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, folks, I spend so much of my time right over there, sifting through the day's biggest stories, hand-selecting only the finest, most perfectly aged Burmese news teak, then carefully carving and shaping it into a refined Buddha depicted in the calling the earth to witness gesture with characteristic circular patterns on the robe, shins, and knees, of course, which I then carefully gild with the most topical gold leaf. Then I harvest the sap of a Usitata tree to apply the delicate Tai O lacquer and finally hand decorate it with the white glass inlays to create for you the glorious Amarapura period sculpture that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I wash up on a Galveston beach naked on a raft of gas cans after escaping from a fight club in international waters. Then, still deranged on a cocktail of mescaline and cough syrup, I steal a cinder block from under a stripped 87 Ford Taurus and chip away at it with a broken umbrella handle I scavenge from a Goodwill dumpster until it vaguely resembles the hungering wolf that scratches at the door of my dreams and present to you the tormented dread effigy of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. Right there. Right there. That is like a sorbet for the mind. Meanwhile. In Massachusetts, JetBlue passengers were left waiting on their plane after the JetBlue airport crew had left for the night. They sat on the tarmac a while, then the pilot said, I have something embarrassing to tell you guys. <laughs> Adding, I used to fly for spirit. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Eiffel Tower is even more of an Eiffel because it grew by nearly 20 feet on Tuesday after engineers hoisted a new communications antenna at the very top by using a helicopter to lower the antenna into place. Parisians wondered at the additions, thousands gathered below to look on and exclaim, eh. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have yet another rare. Meanwhile, update! Last year, we here at Meanwhile Industries brought you the story of a New Zealand couple who were believed to have found the world's largest potato. Jim. Do we have a picture of that pato? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jimmy, can you make it less scary? Thank you. <laughs> well, the latest twist is not good for the potato. Because this week, Guinness World Records ruled that the giant potato is not, in fact, a potato, but something called a gourd tuber. <laughs> really? Because when I look at this abomination, I want to scream, there is no gourd. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Rolling Stones just announced a 60th anniversary European tour, which they are calling 60. <laughs> also, in honor of their incredibly long career, they are renaming themselves the Kidney Stones. <laughs> Meanwhile, take a drink of water. <laughs> quality jokes, quality jokes. Meanwhile, the American Kennel Club just published their list of the most popular dog breeds. And for the 31st year in a row, labs are number one. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Reached for comment, a lab said, bacon? <laughs> Out, salt, ball, bacon? <laughs> Meanwhile, squirrel? <laughs> Cruise line Virgin Voyages has launched a new adults-only ship with slightly less usual offerings, <laughs> like a tattoo parlor. Because there's no higher quality tattoo than one administered on open water. <laughs> yes, yeah, was supposed to be a skull, but we're in some pretty big swells, so I got, I'm gonna say, a, uh, a gourd tuber with dentures. <laughs> gourd! To make it talk. Meanwhile, Dolly Parton has declined her Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nomination. That's not necessary, Dolly. You can just say, I don't want to go to Cleveland. <laughs> we'll be right back 
with Michael Bublé.